Welcome to Pokemon Eclipse version, the first Pokemon game I'm doing on the channel. Why this game? Well, one, it's unfinished. There's only four gyms in it, and it'll make it easier on me to figure out how to exactly cut down and edit a Pokemon game. And two, there's something very special about this game. Let's just begin. Okay, so right away we see this is a hack of leaf green and fire red, it looks like. We don't need this information. I've played Pokemon before. And I think we know who this guy is. Okay, so the text speed is set to slow right now. Let's just skip through this. We know what you do, Professor Oak. Okay, so our trainers. They're based on Red and Leaf. We're going to be a girl. What is my name? Well, so like I was saying before, this game has something very special if you notice closely. Um, but in this game, because I do Fire Emblem primarily, I am going to name my trainer and my Pokemon after Fire Emblem characters. So, boom, we have Byleth. And she will be our trainer for the run. There she is. Yes, I am Byleth. And there's a good reason we're choosing Byleth as our name. Okay, first things first. And we're going to put it on this blue frame right here. You'll see why in a minute. Reap, huh? It's like we own a sheep farm. And I do have a speed up button on here as well. Yeah. Just so we don't have to sit through here. I did a little test run. It doesn't seem like any of the NPCs give you anything good in this town. We'll feed it. Well, that's all done. Now we can go back in our room and play video games. I'm done. You know, I think they gave her a different shading than in the original. A disc at Mr. Briney's house. Now that name sounds familiar to anyone playing... Ruby, Sapphire, or the remakes, Shinx. Okay, now here's the part where I may want to save Scum to get something good. Or not. So we have a Shinx. We didn't get to name it yet. Okay, good, it's a male. I do want to give the Shinx a nickname, and I want it to be male because if you notice, Shinx is a blue lion. Hmm. Shinx. Sassy. I think that's a speed hindering one. You know, in my practice round of this, I got a speed hindering one as well. Alright, what are you saying? Hmm. The inn. There is someone interesting here. Not you. Someone else is staying here. Let's see if we can figure out which room he's in. I don't think the bottom door's open. There he is. Yes, I do. Oh, I have to remember to come back here. There's also another good item here later on. I don't know if it's available right away. Oh, and there's another thing here, too. Nope. It took me a while to figure out in practice. It's kind of like a walk through wall sheet, all for a potion. So there's something very, very special about the trainers on, well, in this whole entire game. Let's see if you can pay attention and notice. Youngster Hector. 
Let's see if we're slower than this Squirtle. Okay. Yes, we are. Sassy nature. I can't remember what that boosts. I'm going to have to look it up once I'm done recording this session. But we crit him. So, pretty good. Only got speed. So that's youngster, Hex youngster Hector down. And his Squirtle. Okay, let's just speed up. Starly, we might catch you later. We don't really want you right now. Hmm. Pico is lost again. Yeah, another plot point. That might be a berry. Yeah. Comment in this little, like, zigzag patch of grasses, berries, and fire red leaf green. So, we have another trainer. Let's see what her name is. Hmm. Lindis. And look, another Pokemon we can beat. The game is quite generous with that, giving us a Shinx for a starter. And a 100% accuracy move. Well, a move that can't miss. Let's go for those annoying double team battles. Later on, I might speed up through some of these trainer battles, but right now, we'll just pay attention. And she has Bulbasaur. How come you get two, but Hector only had one? I guess it's that sword girl bias. Okay, I might actually want to go Shockwave because you're lowering my attack. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, speed up button. I am good, thank you. Okay, let's see if we have a potion in our bag. We do. Great. So we'll need it. I think we'll be fighting one more trainer. You can probably guess who it is and what he has. I have to put that on Shinx. Right, you. Well, you've spoiled your Pokemon, but what is your name? Elliewood. So if you can't see how obvious it is right now, every NPC trainer is named after a Fire Emblem character. So it's pretty cool. We'll have to see where some of our favorite characters are in the game and what Pokemon they have. Now, I have played this hack before. I did a little bit of a practice. Um, some of the Pokemon don't always fit the trainer name, but it's still fun to see. And we'll just Shockwave for the accuracy. Tackle, I believe, in Gen 3 games is 90 or 95% accuracy. And Charmander is dead. Cool. Oh, nice. 69 experience. We get a good level up. Okay, well, Elliewood. Makes sense that you would have the fire type, though. Alright. Guess we're going here. What do you have to say? Hmm. I don't think we have any Pokeballs, though, to go check it out. Oh, there's Pico. Now what would your name be? Chad? Nope, you're Wrath. Apparently a Lin fanboy did not like you and made you a thief. Okay, well, I think we've seen enough shockwaves for one, one battle, or one episode. There we go. Well, here they come. 
Yes, he is the egg thief. Boy, I really can't wait till we can name this Shanks. There's a very suspicious looking path right there. But I don't think we can get in it. Maybe it's like a hidden grotto from Black and White. Black and White 2, I think that first appeared in. Alright, well, we'll come back here later. Maybe when we have some Pokeballs. And we'll have to invest in some repels later on. Or I can just speed up. Goodbye, Starly. Might actually want to catch one of them. Uh, Shinx and Starly make a pretty good team. They're kind of like a staple on any Diamond Pearl Platinum team. And Zigzagoon, also a good HM buddy. I prefer the term HM buddy because the other one is a little negative. Well, I don't think they have any Pokemon to get through that grass. You look important. Okay. You're probably the guy who would block me if I explored without the Shinx. Alright, let's head back to Mom. Oh, thank you. Yes, I was the one. I defeated Wrath, and one Lin is my waifu. Now I think that would... That's the item we need to summon Cresselia, who would be like the counterpart to Darkrai, who's the mascot of this game. Anya. Alright, sounds good to me, although there's only four. Yes, I would like to give it a nickname, Mother. Thank you. Okay, so I think we all know what this is going to be. We have... Dimitri, our first Pokemon. Look at him. Look how cute he is. <laughs> okay. Right, so, let's see, do we have any Pokeballs yet? I don't think we do. No, we have the egg. But we do have to visit someone. I think he was in here. Four trainers now. Okay, I thought you said three. But I guess we're waiting for that rare item. Not a problem. What are you saying now that you're unblocked? Oh, thank you. I think that restores 100 HP, which is a little bit high level for us in this game. Dry and fields. Right. So that way is where we need to go, but there were some Pokemon still back in that forest. If only we had Pokeballs right now. Oops. Professor Oak did say something about four trainers. Maybe we should go back and explore a bit. And of course, we'll get past Starly. I'd really like to catch one of these, but we don't have any balls. No balls. That's the type of trainer I am. <laughs> I'm curious to see who that fourth trainer was. It wasn't you. Were they over here? Maybe right there? What about you? You're not a trainer. We don't have headbutt. And I'd like a Zigzagoon, too, just to be our HM buddy for the run. Where is that fourth trainer? Oddish. Oddish is adorable. Mm, well, I guess no one else is in here. Yeah, looks like we'll have to come back here later. 
So I guess we'll be going back out past the route by our house. I'll see you there in a minute. And we're back by the farm very quickly. So nothing else in the forest. We were never able to find that fourth trainer Professor Oak was going on about. There are some Mareep up here. Yeah, nothing else is in that forest. Do you say anything interesting? What about you? Yes, that's so we don't get blocked. And we have a trainer, so I think that'll do it for this first episode. Hopefully next time we can find that fourth trainer and get some Pokeballs so we can catch a Starly and a Zigzagoon. And we'll see what these guys' names are. I think there's another one a little bit further down behind him. I'll see you next time.